It came as a bit of a shock to me when I found out that the FTSE 100, that's the UK's main stock market index, was one of the world's best performers so far this year. Now, when I say best performers, if you look at this chart, you know, it's not, you know, as I would call best, you know, it's only, well, it's not even up, it's down 2.66%. You can see that green line there, that's the UK FTSE 100. But when you're comparing it, versus some of the big other players like the US stocks, main European indexes that are all down in this zone, then it's actually doing okay. So that got me thinking, are there any stocks out there worth looking at to invest and trade in for the remainder of 2022 into Q4 and into Q1 of 23? Well, I had a bit of a dig around and I actually expanded the FTSE 100 to the FTSE 250 and I've found 12 stocks that I think are worth further investigation and I'm going to show you later in the video how you can actually trade these. So with that, let's get on with the analysis. So before diving into the actual 12 UK stocks, let's just take a look at the sectors and the industries that I've plucked these 12 from. So first of all, sectors, where well, they come from six sectors, over a quarter from finance and utilities, they're the biggest two. And then we've got energy, minerals, 18%, industrial services and electronic technology and consumer non-durables, all 9%. And if we look more specifically at the industries, there's 10 of them, gas distributors being the biggest, unsurprising really with the state of you know, the energy prices at the moment. Then we've got tobacco, banks, aerospace and defense, oil field, um, integrated oil, oil and gas, so a lot of oil energy stuff in there. Again, not surprising. Investment banks and brokers, so a lot of financial stuff in there, some speciality insurance and, um, you know, electric utilities. So a bit of an all-round mix, but they are the sort of strong sectors of the UK economy, really. So we've looked at the sectors, we looked at the industries, now let's look at those 12. So first up we have a company called Telecom Plus. Now you might not have heard of these guys but they're a holding company and they own and operate another company called Utility Warehouse which is a big brand in the UK and they provide broadband, mobile, energy and insurance services for households throughout the country. So a useful service at these times. As you can see from the chart, been doing pretty well as the energy crisis has prevailed. And in terms of targets, well, we've got to get 2240, 2792 and then 3064 to the upside as your next, like say, three zones. But it's been looking quite a good progress. Bit of a pullback at the moment, maybe a bounce here on upwards. So that's Telecom Plus. And then our second choice is a company called Energy and Oil and Gas operating in the Eastern Mediterranean, you know, Israel, Egypt, and are in the exploration, development, and production of oil and gas and as you can see like most of the energy stocks at the moment they've been doing pretty well last few years and it's got to get through these highs at 1464 before targeting 1951 and 2191 as the next three upside targets then we move on to an investment bank now, Investec PLC are a South African organisation, but they're also on the UK stock exchange, so we can can be traded most places around the world. And as you can see, uh, you know, as a strong financial services company, their share price has been doing very well. Pulled back over the last few months, but maybe this is a bounce, you know, buy back in opportunity, five. 4550 sort of area early 700s and then early 800s as the next three upside targets and then moving on to number four 
in the UK this would be seen as more of a controversial choice. Centrica PLC, they are an energy services and solutions company, be making a fortune out of the segment um, that they are involved in. They own a company called British Gas Energy that provides households and businesses throughout the UK with their gas supply. So they've been raking it in of late. So why not take advantage of their profits by investing in them ourselves if they're not going to give us those discounts on our bills so where could they be heading next well let's say just under 100 122 135 to the upside but it's gone a bit quiet really over april so let's see if it can break those highs back in early 20s and for that next push on and then moving on to another energy company that needs no introduction BP British Petroleum one of the UK's biggest companies have been having a bit of a bad time over the last decade but the last few years well things are looking a bit more promising to the upside still got a lot of work to do 61.8 percent key Fibonacci line it's trading at at the moment so it's got to get back into this early 500 zone then highs around the 600s and then up to the late 700s as any possible you know upside targets and then again sticking with energy bit of a theme running through these first lot to start with our next one is a company called Riverstone Energy now this is an interesting one they are a closed end investment company and they act as an investment entity through partnerships and make privately negotiated equity investments into the energy sector so you'd hope they'd be making money at the moment and as you can see by the stock price been doing pretty well for the last few years now they've bounced back from that 61.8 percent uh, low recent low of just over 500 looking to push to those highs in the sort of mid 700s then just over a thousand and then 1160 as possible upside moves so that's the first six done let's get on to number seven now for something different Beasley PLC they're an insurance company operating in seven key segments globally and stuff that are quite relevant today cyber executive risk market facilities such as marine political accident contingency property reinsurance and speciality lines so covering a lot of bases there and in terms of performance been doing pretty well like most of the other charts we're looking at coming up to these highs in the 600 areas got to push on to the mid 700s and then up into the early 800s as it's you know upside possible you know potential targets there so with that let's move on to number eight now hunting plc our manufacturer trade rental of upstream equipment for the well ball covering off the whole life cycle of the well you know construction completion intervention stages they do this globally and have been doing particularly well and the stock price looks like it's making a recovery and that's why i like it if it can break through these mid 300s then it's got some great upside potential mid 450s early 500s and then nearly 600 as potential upsides the next three there and then at number nine needs no introduction again like uh, bp you've probably heard of them and they are the aerospace and defense company BAE Systems. And as you can see by the stock price, gone a bit sideways um, for most of this year after a good old run up, especially after the news of the Ukraine um, Russian conflict. So if it can pause here, consolidate, and then break on up through that 848, 850 zone, then you know just over a thousand and then 1130 could be the next targets to pick off and then moving on 
We have Glencore, PLC, they're a Swiss based, diversified natural resource company, produces markets, commodities, they trade them as well. Big into copper, zinc, lead, nickel, aluminium, and silver, and iron ore. So, one to watch out for. And chart wise, been really strong for the last few years. Bit of a pullback into this sort of consolidation area. Again, got to get through the highs. 550s and then up on upwards to early 700s and then just up the top there we can see you know that sort of early 800s as possible upside and then our 11th selection a bit more of a curveball this one it's the bank of georgia group plc uk based holding company into retail banking payment services corporate investment banking wealth management you know they also focus on you know small medium size business and corporate customers like i say it's my curveball play for this um 12 that i've selected and as you can see you know this year's not been too bad on the charts Actually, got to get through those near highs, 21.30, before thinking about moving on up to the sort of 3,000 zone where it has been before. But like I say, one to investigate further. Now, final selection number 12, another company you have probably heard of. British American Tobacco, you know, in the tobacco sector, obviously, and you know other nicotine products for the global consumer market and as you can see 2022 has been pretty good for them so far it's been a strong start maybe a bit of a pullback consolidation there as it tries to push on through those recent highs before it can get up into the early and mid four thousands so there you go that is my 12 to look at but how and where can you trade these stocks well if you're into cfds and spread betting you could use someone like trade nation i'm in my account here and you can see i've just fired in a few of those that we've looked at now bae bat bp glencore investec all there to trade the good thing with doing it this way is you can also trade them to the downside go short these stocks without the normal hassles and costs involved with shorting this type of thing but if you wanted the actual stocks themselves how could you do that so i've gone into my tiger brokers account and i use these to trade you know futures options different countries stock markets and stocks us hong kong china singapore australia and most important for this video london and click on the london and you can see pretty much all the stocks that you um, want and that we've used on that list are available to trade there it's quite easy to find them let's just have a look let's look at british american tobacco there he is there's a chart a lot of information news you know detail here to help you out like i say all you have to do is just search those 12 in there they're all in there and all there for you to trade good costs low costs here good access to the markets a very useful platform tiger brokers and i've put links into both trade nation and tiger you know below this video so that's giving you some idea of where to get your hands on these stocks if you want to get involved with them so that's my 12 uk FTSE 250 stocks for you to have a think about you know do your own due diligence and investigation around them you know for the period of q4 of this year and into 2023 so some interesting stocks there bit of a theme of energy and finance underlying there but that's typical of the uk markets let me know you know if you have any of those stocks in your portfolio do you agree disagree with the 12 what would you have added or taken away let me know in those comments below love to hear from you and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video